Hey, what's up guys? As you all know, this is my home network that we built several months ago. I basically unplugged most of the cables. I only have the switch running there because somebody's using the Wi-Fi. Our project right now is to add up a patch panel. Some of you might be asking, what is a patch panel? Well, a patch panel is a network device that you can use to organize the cables uh, properly manage it, make it uh, neat, clean, and tidy so that it will not be uh, spaghetti of cables running all around your home network or office network. Now, some of you might also argue having a patch panel at home would be an overkill for a um, home network. And yeah, that's true. For me, I only have like four cables that is running from first floor and then another one for the CCTV, another one for the Wi-Fi, and then another one going to the top floor. So probably four cables that are going to be more of a permanent cable running through the house. And of course, this is twin for ports. Now for me, I'm thinking of later on, I'm going to be adding more network cables. It's up to you to decide if you really want to have a patch panel, if you want to organize those cables. Anyways, in this video, I want to show you how you can add up a patch panel, right? Okay, so we have the patch panel. You need to have a punch down tool. Then of course, um, I have already prepared the four main links that I currently have right now, and they are properly labeled here. You can see this is LAN one. This is going to the first floor. And this is CCTV one, which I have on the first floor. Then I have Wi-Fi two. This is the second floor and the Wi-Fi. Then I have Wi-Fi one, which is going to the first floor as the Wi-Fi. Now, um, labeling these ones would uh, help you uh, identify later on if you're tracking some lines or troubleshooting. And at the same time, you know if this uh, CCTV one is connected to this port or maybe this um, Wi-Fi 2 is connected to this port. Um, now, the next thing I wanna do here is of course cut these lines because we are going to punch it at the back. So I basically just, I'm um, going to cut it here. I'm just, okay, cut, cut. And then I just wanna make sure that I'm not cutting that one. Oh no, so, Anyways, we are going to rename it later. Now here at the back, whatever we are using here, guys, it's orange, white, orange, that is B. So we are going to use the B version. This is one, so we start here. And you can see the marking here that all the, the wires that we are going to punch here, that is one pointing the arrow up. This two is pointing this one, so this is port number two and so on and so forth. We have three here, four, five, six, seven, eight, until it reaches number 24. So we only need one, two, one, two, three, four. All right, so I want to put on my CCTV. I just go ahead and strip this one out. Like that. And basically I was able to remove the marking. So I just want to make sure that I want to mark CCTV here, CCTV one. And you just follow the markings here. If we are using, uh, you can see the mark there. I'll just use this one. This is T658B. So this is straight through B, this upper uh, uh, line here. So if you are using A, you follow all this one, the second line of colors. Now we are going to follow this one here. So simply like, I'm just going to remove that, uh, okay? Then basically untwist this one. It's basically easy. Then I'm going to untwist this one also. I'll just follow the colors on top. So I have the white blue like this. So I'll just place it like that. Then I'm going to punch it since it's going to go like this. So white first. You can prepare them like that first. And then we have blue. And then I have white orange. Right. 
anyway this punch down tool doesn't have a cutting cutting edge here i hope it's going to cut it because if you are going to punch this one it should be able to cut the extra wire here so anyway let's let's try the white blue because that's the first one you punch it down see it's not cutting it so i'll just go ahead and cut it later on all of it if it's already punched and then i'll go for the white blue right like that then i'll go for the white orange and then i'll go for this one Is the brown? Yep. We nearly made a mistake. See? We need to have green first, guys. Make sure we have the right colors. So I have the white green. And I have the green color. And I have, oopsie. There we go with the brown. All right. And then I have the, I mean, so as you can see, it's not cutting here. It's not cutting because of the type of uh, punch down tool that I have. It doesn't have a blade. So I can use a cutter to cut this one like. so the first one is done and we can go along and continue with two three four right If you have this one aligned properly, you just go ahead and punch, punch, punch. And of course, I'm just going to cut it here again. Okay. Then the last one. Punch, 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 punch. And you can fix this one like that. So uh, you can tie this one up so that it will be clear all throughout it reaches here. But for now, I don't have a tie wire to do that. So anyway, it's just four of them. If we add up more, then I can do that one. Next, go here. And you can fix this one like that. So uh, you can tie this one up so that it will be clear all throughout it reaches here. But for now, I don't have a tie wire to do that. So anyway, it's just four of them. If we add up more, then I can do that one. It will look like this. And of course, I'm going to install the patch panel. Imagine if you have like 24 quarter, maybe 24 here. It would eat up all this patch panel now. This uh, network wrap is dusty. Nobody has been touching it for some time. Okay. look now um this is the current problem that i have right now the patch cables that i have are very long so if i'm going to plug it here it will fill up the uh, cable manager but anyway later on i'm going to change them with shorter cables like this you see it's very short so if you are going to use this kind of cable uh, if you want to know about it i'll just place a link on the description below because you see the concept of this one is if you plug the cable here, you can uh, let it go through this uh, cable manager, which has a very small, um, what do you call this one, cable thingy. 
and then I'll plug it to one. So that's how manageable it is. Now, these cables that I have are very long, but I'm going to use it right now. Later, I'm going to change it because if you try to see, I'm going to use this one for port number two. It looks actually really nice because it's big, but you see, it's going to eat up the cable manager like you see. What, you see, whoever does that. So I'll go buy a shorter cable versions of this one. Anyway, they are like, or you can make it if you want to. So that's how it is. Then I'll go again here and then I'll do the same like that. So if you see this one on those uh, data infrastructure uh, centers, you'll see that we have cable managers like that. Oh no, you see I have only two cables in this cable manager is full. It should be a short cable, so. Anyway, for the sake of this video, I'll just use it for now because I'm not, I do not have the shorter cables, maybe one, one foot cable going here is good. And I always like a color coding kind of uh, scenario. So I need to buy something like uniform cable for this one. And then, <laughs> but you will see also the use case of this um, uh, cable manager you see once I have that one there I don't advise you to do these very long cables right I'll just get this cable manager cover then I'll just go ahead and cover this dude There you go. Uh oh, ah, yeah, that's good. So you can see the cables going up here later on if there will be more. And they're properly cabled, right? If you try to watch some of my videos, some of these kinds, uh, some of these switches are full in the setups that we have been doing. But this uh, serves as a very good example for using a touch panel like this, right? Anyways guys, that's our patch panel right there. That's how you install it. That's how we use it. I hope you have learned something from this video. And if you have any comments, um, just drop a comment down below. And if you like this video, press that like button. And if you are not yet subscribed, make sure to subscribe. See ya.